So what I've pulled out of my uh, laundry machine is the motor. The motor wasn't working. Um, it may not have been the motor's fault at all. It could have been circuitry driving the motor. It's a DC motor. And the model is uh, 40-66-2 MXT. And um, a Google search is almost completely unproductive for this. Um, so 602-8751. Uh, on Google was able to produce better results for me. Anyway, I just want to show you a couple of things about this. This end, of course, drives the belt, which drives the uh, drum. And um, there's a connector right here with uh, multiple pins, and there's a connector over here with three um, contacts. Uh, this connector here is removed, and a Torx T15, a number 15 Torx, is used to take this off. So you just take this baby off. It, it's it's pretty simple to do. Off it comes. And under this, you have to lift this straight off. It's not actually electrically connected to anything. Under this is funny looking thing with electrical looking fingers on it. Turns out this is a magnet that goes around in circles and generates an AC current inside this device. The center contact where the screw was securing it to the housing is the grounding contact and it seems to provide a, a ground reference to the board or controlling circuitry of the motor. What I'll do now is I'm going to uh, take this apart. I'll pause first. So the plastic circuit just slides off gently. Notice when it goes back in, it goes into a slot here, so you don't want to break it. That slot fits in right there, not the upper one. So that, you should put that aside. You'll notice that you've got three contacts. One, two, three, the center contact, clearly the grounding contact. Okay, I'm going to stick this back on the machine, uh, hitch it up and spin the armature to see about uh, how much current can come or how many volts uh, will be produced. So to test this out, I'm going to clip on my voltmeter leads and uh, on the two outside ones, I don't really care about ground. Ground um, it doesn't seem to be involved here. It's, it's, uh, it's a little generator. Um, AC generator, I figure, and I just want to see how many volts come out of it when I spin the armature. Um, they're not connecting, so that's that's good. I got my voltmeter over here, and I'm going to get a drill and attach it and drive the armature in circles. Okay, there's my little rig. I'll put my voltmeter back here. Oh, it's an old volt voltmeter too. Really old school. So my voltmeter was bought back in probably the 80s. Or no, actually probably the 70s. It's a, uh, got it from Radio Shack many years ago. But still works really well. And um, we'll spin this. It is a number 40. Number 40. But I am uh, i don't have a chuckable number 40, so I'm going to use a 35, which I can actually fit in there. I'm going to drive this around in circles like this and see how much juice comes out. Oh yeah, okay, we already got some volts coming out. I got yeah seven boys seven bull and as it winds down and loses revolutions it loses AC the volts are heading down Pretty soon it'll be stopped and we have nothing. So, my conclusion is that this is actually a sensor for 
the controlling circuitry to understand how fast, uh, how many revolutions per minute uh, this motor is going for its feedback loop to be able to control how much power it sends to the motor so that it can keep within established RPM tolerances in operation. All right, so uh, one last thing I'll note, um, I'd like to actually mention is that uh, this heavy, nice little motor here, uh, which is clearly a good quality product versus some of the other things I've pulled out of dishwashers and such. Um, take note, this device has two orientations it can be mounted in. Uh, it can be mounted in this orientation or that orientation. I uh, I forgot to note which orientation it was um, when I removed it and I didn't take any pictures. Well, I may have taken pictures, but I'll have to scan back through about a million of them to figure it out. Um, so I've guessed this one based on uh, how worked in the threads were. This uh, allowed, this allowed, this mounting stud allowed the um, screw to go back in easier. Don't take this for granted. Sometimes I look at YouTube and uh, check to see if I've got things right from uh, what other people have on their uh, YouTube channel. Um, in this case, don't take this as gospel because it could be the other way. Uh, when you're reinstalling your motor, if you're if you're reinstalling it, not using it for something else, um, just go by the uh, wiring harness. Uh, how easy it is to get the wiring harness back in. You know, I'll just do a bit, bit of a 360 so you can see all angles of this in case you need to reference. I haven't changed anything else. It's all bone, bone stock. And give the uh, the grand tour by spinning this around. So that is one nice motor. I really quite like this. Beefy and uh smooth there you go All righty.